Okay, I know, you know what? I know it feels like a cruel summer to all of you. I know that it feels like a cruel summer to us, just given what's going on. But you know what? Let's make the best of it. Let's make it a cool summer. Let's just cool off. You know what? Let's keep cool. Let's chill out. Let's try to enjoy ourselves and let's let's make some cool and refreshing salads right back. Because guess what? I'm Katie. I'm Becca. And welcome to Cooked Good Up Cooking with Katie and Becca. Yeah. Woo! We are back at our LA home. Uh, we escaped from our mountain home for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. We are back at our LA home. We escaped from our mountain home for the weekend just to take care of some things. It's my stepdaughter Kyla's birthday on Sunday, so we're gonna celebrate. Uh, sorry, Saturday, but we're gonna celebrate with a birthday celebration on Sunday. But I'm so thrilled to be here today because guess what? We have Paul Hamstreet from Santa Clarita joining us remotely. Hi, Paul. Hi, Katie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Paul. We also have Bill Chin, my brother in Chicago, Illinois, who will be fielding all of your questions and comments on Instagram. Hi, Bill. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Margaret McSweeney, also from Illinois. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Katie. I, I love your little nugget right there. Margaret <laughs> joins us, as you know, every Friday. She'll be moderating all your comments and questions on Facebook today. And if you don't know about Margaret, you should totally check her out because she is the founder and host of the award-winning podcast, Kitchen Chad, where she oh. interviews all sorts of culinary luminaries from Jack Pan to Carla Hall to Stephanie Eisert. Uh, tell us who's appearing, uh, who's your next guest on Kitchen Chat, Margaret? Yes, Tara Teaspoon is going to be joining us. She was the uh, food stylist for Martha Stewart and has a new cookbook. Really excited about that. Oh, that is so cool, Margaret. I know she's copying and pasting uh, the link to uh, her show. So please check it out. Now I'm especially thrilled because I'm welcoming our guest, Catherine McCord today from Los Angeles. Hi, Catherine. Hi, hey guys. Hi, so Catherine. happy to see you and Becca and everybody else. So thank you for having me. So great to see you in your beautiful kitchen. Catherine, as many of you may know, is the founder of Relicious.com, the phenomenal family blog, as well as One Potato, which is an organic home delivery service that uh, we'll have you talk about a little bit. But she also just authored, uh, is this your third, fourth, fifth cookbook? I know, what it feels like that sometimes. This is my third cookbook and very, very unique and special to me. I love it. It's a smoothie project. And, uh, you know, we all love smoothies, but this book is extra special because, I mean, Catherine for many years has been pioneering a revolution to really cook healthy meals for your family, not only through her amazing blog, her cookbooks, but also through One Potato. So with that, tell us a little bit about your book, Catherine, and what the inspiration was for creating it. Well, it actually started, I mean, it's kind of started with my pregnancy with my middle daughter and just um, realizing that smoothies were a great way for me as a pregnant woman to get nutrition in my body. And then um, my son had a health scare when he was eight years old and um, basically was getting headaches and nausea. Uh, day after day and um, this persisted for months and we were seeing doctors and nutritionists and we went down the, the, through the rabbit hole and realized that what was going on was he was he's been a vegetarian by choice since he was five and he was just eating lots of carbohydrates and sugars and um, lots of dairy and what his body really needed were smoothies and like real good, real healthy food. Um, and within weeks of having a smoothie and him deciding what he wanted in his smoothies every day, uh, all of his symptoms disappeared. And years later, he's still feeling that way. And it's just been this really incredible um, 
you know, challenge for me working with different people with ADHD, um, going through cancer, trying to lose weight, um, just trying to get their health in order uh, to, you know, to add all of these ingredients that are just nutrient dense and really good for your body. But the best part, the, the greatest benefit is that the smoothies taste delicious too. They really do. And I love that you can be so creative and your kids can help decide what goes into the smoothies. And it's a really great way to explore how foods can really heal your body. Now, I know Margaret is so inquisitive, so I'm sure you have a question for Catherine, Margaret, don't so, you? So many questions. I just first want to applaud you as an incredible woman entrepreneur, how you've built your many businesses, raised your family, um, have the one potato, all of these great businesses. I'll never forget. I, I first met you, I think, at the Blogger Conference, where you are presenting this new business concept idea for That's One right. Potato, and it was so inspiring, truly, and congratulations. Yeah. But how do you balance it? I guess that would be my question. How do you balance <laughs> it as a business owner, a mom, um, author? How, how do you do it all? Well, I mean, it's like I look at Katie and Becca and, you know, when, when you're able to involve your kids in the process and like I see Becca and she's like leading the charge now. Um, and I think that that has a lot to do with it. You know, that I mean, I'm able to really, um, I love what I do. I'm able to involve my family as much as possible. Um, and I'm super passionate. I mean, I, you know, the Wheelicious and One Potato are, um, I've, I think, you know, really strong companies, but what leads them are the people that are making the recipes or, you know, getting the food through one potato right to their front door. And like, the, you know, the mission of like, let's just get our families to the dinner table, to the breakfast table, and let's eat and cook together. That's amazing, amazing advice. And it's so inspiring to hear that you as a working mom. And I forgot to mention that Catherine was a keynote speaker at our meetings. Entrepreneurship Day uh, conference. I'm the Los Angeles ambassador and she was on our panel and that was so incredible to hear your story. But I would just like to hear, and I'm sure everyone else out there that's a budding entrepreneur or thinking, especially in this time of COVID, where a lot of people have to pivot and think about maybe becoming an entrepreneur. What advice would you give to somebody thinking about starting their own business? That's such a great question because I have been watching a lot of female founders um, have the need to pivot right now. And it's been amazing. We were actually talking about a friend today who pivoted her business and it's actually become stronger. And I think it was just all based on the fact that she looked at what was the necessity, what was what is really needed out in the world that she felt like she could provide and then spinning it into something um, that you know can help people but that she can also monetize. So I think it's really like, where's the problem and how can you solve it? And I think a lot of female founders um, have a real knack for that. Absolutely, and I feel like there's so many uh, perceived of as challenges right now or frustrations that you could turn on their head and create opportunities from, right? Yeah, totally. For sure. So today, tell us what you're making, Catherine. Oh, we're gonna make an antioxidant smoothie. So there are a hundred smoothies in the Smoothie Project um, and they are all real food. Um, you can be a vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free. You can eat you know, anything in the world um, and you know, be open-minded, but you, you're able to vary the smoothies um, based on the ingredients. So this one I love because it is packed with antioxidants, you know, keeping those free radicals from our bodies. Um, and especially at this time where I think a lot of people are trying to get healthy, build up their immunity um, and just feel really strong. So this smoothie is really only a few ingredients. So we have frozen berries. You can also use fresh. Um, and it should be, you know, you want it to be raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. The best part about berries also is they're packed with fiber. So I think that a lot of people, um, you know, especially when you're eating a lot of processed foods, you aren't getting the fiber that you need. So those berries have tons and tons of fiber. Uh, and then the next is kale. And you think, oh my gosh, green kale. But kale is amazing for your body. Again, lots of fiber, lots of iron. Um, and I like to take that when, when you have like the big stocks, like a lot of people are gardening right now. 
Um, and it's amazing because you're pulling stuff like right from the earth that you grow. So if you have bigger um, stems, you can pull those out. And, and especially if you don't have a powerful blender, I do have a strong blender. And I will say that 50% of your smoothie is your blender and 50% is the ingredients you put it in. Because you know, often people will be like, oh my God, I can't get my smoothie really like smooth. Um, so this, you know, a good blender like really takes care of that. Now, another uh, antioxidant naturally besides the berries and the kale is cacao. So you're going to see in out in like you're, you're, I know a lot of people, they walk into Whole Foods and they're like, oh my gosh, like there's so many different ingredients. I don't know where to start. Um, so in the back of the book, you'll see that there is a breakdown of basically every smoothie ingredient, what's it good for, how to change whatever's going on in your body. So the, there's a smoothie for every different taste and there is a smoothie for every, you know, for d different things that you're trying to work on within your body. So like with cacao powder, there is pure and you want to look for a pure cacao powder. But there's also ones like this. I'm really into companies that are adding, this one has hemp seed protein, cacao nibs, maca, um, mesquite seeds, vanilla, chia seeds, which are again are protein. Um, so you know we'll go with this one just because you're getting an even a little bit more nutrition, um, but you're getting that cacao. So I know a lot of people think really like chocolate has antioxidants. Absolutely, and this smoothie has like that nice mix. Like all you're going to taste is the chocolate and the berries. You won't taste um, the kale. Uh, and then we've got some goji berries. Goji berries, really, really sweet, um, natural antioxidant. Uh, we're gonna put a little date in there. So if you guys have never, if you don't have dates, put them in your freezer. I get these at our farmer's market and I'll show them to you. Um, these are medjool dates. There's different kinds of dates. Um, this is a great one because it's naturally sweet. So there's no refined sugar in the smoothie. Um, but believe it or not, dates have a ton of micronutrients. So that's really, really important. Um, and then there's also, uh, there are other ingredients you can add to your smoothies. I'm a big fan, especially for women over the age of 35, um, getting collagen peptides. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit in collagen peptides, a lot of protein. So if you're, if you're working out in the morning, or you just tend to be a little bit more hungry, you want to get more protein in there. Um, so you can put one or two scoops in here um, to just boost your protein. And then uh, you can add some milk. Now I will say my, uh, my other company, One Potato, we sell frozen smoothie packets. So if you're that person that's like, I just don't want to deal with different ingredients and it's you know, too challenging. Um, we have immunity booster, blue chia, and even this antioxidant smoothie. So uh, if you go to onepotato.com, have everything right in there. Um, and then your milk. So you know, there's different kinds of milks. One of my daughters loves cow's milk. I'm really into plant-based milks. Um, so this is oat milk, but there's also almond milk, soy milk, uh, pea milk, which is very high in protein. Don't want the, no, we do not want the top of that. Um, so just, you know, you can really use any kind of liquid and milks uh, that you want. And then we're just gonna whiz it up real quick. This may get loud, so I'll, I'll just try to, how's this, let's see. Oop, here we go. And Catherine, I love how you always engage your children in the cooking process. What advice do you have for parents out there? That's it, it's really, really simple. And the best part about it is you have a full meal right here. It's like all the nutrients you need for your day are in that smoothie. It's totally power packed. You know, Margaret just had a question about the best way to incorporate your kids in the cooking process? Do you have any tips for people yeah, out there? I mean, I'll tell you something, it's been really interesting. I have a four-year-old and during quarantine, especially every morning she takes this book and she, um, she's like, I wanna pick out my smoothie. And you know what, I let her, like I keep most of the ingredients on hand. Um, I think that anytime you can get a kid hand them a cookbook um, and say, pick something out. Let's make something together or give them two choices. If you have smaller kids, you know, do you want to make a, a grilled chicken or chicken pie or, or, you know, whatever it is, two different muffins or something fun like that. 
Um, because the more that you can get your kids, I mean, like I see Becca, I feel like Becca could write the book on this. <laughs> so, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how did she get excited and involved? <laughs> well, you're such an advocate of it. And, and, and I love that so much. I think, I think it's so true, especially in this time. It's like, we're also looking for things to entertain our kids with, right? So why not have them get involved? And then I think that when they're creative and choose a recipe, they're that much more apt to actually eat it, right? Absolutely. And especially like if, even when it comes to a smoothie, um, you can also put it in a popsicle mold. So especially when it's hot outside. Having oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So we do, we, I, I almost always make too much smoothie so that I can, um, I can do that. But I also think as a treat for parents, you could maybe add some vodka, then freeze it into a popsicle. What do you think? I mean, I am, your, your quarantine style is right. I'm, <laughs> thumbs up <laughs> you know what i'm saying whatever it takes okay listen so uh we're so excited because we're giving away a copy of yeah. Catherine's book uh smoothie project paul can you screen share the book okay here we go yay so there are a hundred smoothie recipes in this book and they're all really amazing and also very accessible right i mean you don't have to be living in Los Angeles or New York. You could be living in the middle of Iowa and you can find the ingredients that you need for all of these recipes. Right, Catherine? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like I, the ingredients are, you can get them online or you can get them at your local grocery. You make it really, really simple. Awesome. So, you know, like all of our shows, all you have to do is comment today, ask a question, show Catherine some love, say Becca rocks, whatever you're automatically entered in to win a copy of her cookbook. Now, Paul, do we have any questions coming in from Facebook for Catherine? Let's see here. Uh, check in. Oh, I'm sorry, Margaret. <laughs> I always get all five drops. Margaret, do we have any questions coming in? Oh, or no worries. We have friends out there. If anybody has a question for Catherine, please enter it in now. Yes, and everyone, so many people are joining. Frederick, Diane, Teresa, um, oh, June, and everyone's so much enjoying the special, the special show. Hi, Doug. Awesome. Yay. Thank you so Yay. much. Hey, about Bill, anyone on Instagram, do they happen to have a question for Catherine today? Well, there's one question. Um, do you ever um, cook greens such as kale? Do you cook it before you put it in the smoothie? Yeah, that's a great question. No, sometimes I use frozen, uh, frozen greens, so frozen spinach, frozen kale. Um, or, but I like it raw. I think that it just has a milder flavor. Um, you, so you, you don't even need to cook your, your kale, like spinach, chard, make it easy on yourself, do it raw or um, right out of the freezer. That's a great question. I love that. Um, so you guys, if you don't happen to win the book today, I know Margaret's gonna copy and paste a link to the book on Amazon. So make sure to check it out because there's a hundred smoothie recipes. And I think, you know, we're both working parents. We need all the help we can get, right? Totally. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it takes a village. It really does. It really does. We're so excited that you joined us today. Hey, Margaret, do you have any um, questions you want to ask or any comments before we let Catherine go deal with all her children yeah. and her well, businesses? I I am just curious, what is the most intriguing ingredient you've been using in your smoothies? Oh, that's such a great question. The most intriguing, well, the most intriguing was my son. I have charcoal and charcoal is really, it's very nutrient dense, but my son, like the other day, decided to make charcoal blueberry lemonade smooth, um, smoothie. And I was like, Hmm, this is, but he was like rolling with it. I, I would say like blue algae, any of the really fun like um, dragon fruit powder, any, they have like these amazing colors. They're really like blue algae, um, which is blue magic is another name for it, um, made by uh, E3 Live. And it's, you know, algae is like of the earth, it is so nutrient dense of the sea, I should say. Um, and, you know, we're looking for those micronutrients, high in fiber, um, high in protein, 
uh, and really good um, for your joints. Uh, and I think that it's really important to like find these ingredients that no matter like what I said, like whether you have anxiety, um, you know, for the antioxidant smoothie, trying to just really get as many of those like deep colors um, because those are the things that are just like, you know, boosting your body with all kinds of nutrition. But that is so cool too, I think for like a little boy, you know, uh, back when brother Dylan, like if I just scroll, oh, we're putting charcoal in your smoothie, he'd be like, that's radical. You know what I mean? I mean, it was black. I was like, wow, that doesn't look like the kind of lemonade that I'm used to. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It also sounds like I could put it on my face for anti-aging. I know, right? That's, I know. that's a whole other show, right? Exactly. That's our next <laughs> Exactly. Oh my gosh, we are so honored and thrilled you joined us today Catherine. Thank you so much. please, Love please look at the comment section for all her amazing websites but before we go just tell us like a quick little overview of what one potato is because not everybody knows oh, and yeah. i would everyone to take advantage of this amazing business you've created yes yeah, so one potato is an organic family friendly food company we send two or three meals every week we're in eight states on the west coast um, and Texas, we start shipping to Texas in two weeks. Uh, meals take, I know it's very exciting. The meals take 12 to 30 minutes to make start to finish. So it's a real like weeknight lifesaver. Um, and then again, we have the frozen smoothie packets. So everything you need to make these like really delicious smoothies. Um, and in every one potato box, we put free slice and bake cookie dough and the flavor changes every week. No so kidding. It's always fun. To, it's like your Cracker Jack surprise. You get you get your one potato box and you know you can run looking for like what kind of slice and bake cookies, raw cookie dough that you can bake or you can just eat as it is. Oh my God, that is so cool. I love yeah. that. I think we're Becca's favorite thing is cookie dough. So I think we're going to definitely order uh, some of that up today. Oh yeah, you, you need it. Yeah, so you can find it at, at onepotato.com um, or onepotato.com. And then uh, for me, it's at Weelicious. Awesome. Oh my goodness. We are so thrilled to have you today. Kathy McCord of Weelicious so you know, and Smoothie Project. Yes. Wonder Woman. We love you so much. Love Thank you, you too. Again. And we All hope right. to see you soon. Everyone check out the links. And Thanks, don't forget, guys. all you have to do is comment today. Bye, Margaret. Bye, Catherine. Bye, Catherine. Bye, <laughs> see you guys later. Bye, Bye Becca. Bye, Katie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was so Bye. fun, right, Margaret? Oh, that was amazing. She is so delightful. And it's just great to see young women succeed in business and build an incredible, incredible and delicious <laughs> product. Well, I mean, like you, Margaret, she is um, uh, such a dynamo and so accomplished yet so down to earth and such a supporter of other women. And that's why I love her so much. Like you, Margaret. So Margaret, who else is joining us today on Facebook? Yes, let me check real quickly. So many people. Um, oh, let's see. Um, well, June is on and I'm having a delay in my Facebook feed. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, maybe Paul has an update. Or you know what, Billy, can you tell us who's joining us on Instagram? Well, so many people, JPR333, JRH Creative Cloud, May Chandran, uh, Makeup by Deborah, Love Sun 14, North Star Moving, Barbara Goldhammer. Awesome. So many friends on Instagram and Facebook. Paul, do you want to just chime in with a few friends from Facebook that have joined us? Yes, look, let me see here. We have Jenny Yen, Jenny Wen, Philip Kampke. Hi, Philip and Jenny. June Bryant. Hi, June. And let's see. Chris Sherman, Douglas Hodge, Didi Gustafson, Frederick yeah. Mead, Teresa Guzman, so many people. Oh my God, it's a party. It's a Friday party. I know you guys could be out there enjoying the beach, going for a hike running errands, but you chose to be with us. Maybe you're doing those things and you're with us. So we appreciate it, right? So we're just gonna dive into our cool salads today because it is a cruel summer. I think you can agree, but let's try to cool off and stay cool. Keep our cool, right, right, right. All right, so we're making three easy and delicious salads. And we're also welcoming our partners. World Market today, we're using a lot of their products in these delicious recipes. And I love so much this grill pan I'm about to grill our peaches on. 
It's a cast iron grill pan from World Market. I love it so much. Thanks for joining us along with Melissa's Produce, all their fresh, amazing, nutrient-dense produce will be featured on today's show. So we're starting with our grilled peach arugula feta salad. Who doesn't love grilled peaches? Now, some of you might be like, I've never grilled fruit. That seems weird. We did it last time. <laughs> but Becca's reminding us we did it last time, but we're gonna do it again. Because <laughs> grilled peaches, first of all, at the peak of their freshness, so ripe, so delicious. One of those summertime fruits, you don't wanna miss it. You want to take advantage of your delicious ripe peaches, right? So all we did is I pitted my peaches and then I actually cut them into eighths and I tossed them with a bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil from World Market. And then next to this, we're going to add what, Becca? What are we going to add? Oh, honey or agave. Honey or sylvia agave for our sweetness, added sweetness to the peaches. And then when you add honey, when you're grilling fruit, it creates that beautiful caramelized brown texture to the fruit that you're grilling. And then what else, Becca? Lemon juice. We have some freshly squeezed lemon juice some, for some bright, fresh tartness. And then, is that it? A little bit of salt. Some salt. We're just gonna add some kosher salt. Okay, so let's just switch to our top down camera, Paul, if you don't mind. Okay, let's turn that video on. Can you turn, there we go. All right, are you on? Yeah. Okay, so I am uh, heating up this beautiful cast iron grill pan from World Market. The wonderful thing about cast iron is when you season a cast iron pan or grill, it creates a beautiful, natural, nonstick finish. So I had seasoned this earlier. I heated it very high because you want to get uh, your uh, beautiful grill marks, right? Now, Paul, I think you sent me a message, but it disappeared. I don't know. Can you uh, tell me it verbally? It's not too secret. On your main camera, if you tilt it down just a little, we'll be able to see the, the, the beautiful dishes you're making okay, on the yes. counter. I think, that, I think that's a cue for Becca. Don't you? All right. Now, what I did is I just sprayed my grill pan. It's smoking. It's going to turn on the heat a bit. I sprayed it with some nonstick um, cooking spray, like a Pam but you could also take a paper towel, carefully just coat it with a bit of uh, oil. And then we're just gonna, look at how pretty, we're gonna grill our gorgeous peach slices right here. And oh, because chef. fruit, we don't have to grill it for too long. We're just gonna grill it for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna turn it over once again. The goal here is to get gorgeous grill marks on our grilled pieces. You see that? Chef Katie, I love that. And where did you get that grill again? World Market. I got the grill on worldmarket.com. So easy, so fast. I got it in like two days right to my doorstep. And it's been so handy because I don't always like to go through the whole process of lighting the charcoal or heating up our grill outside because it's so hot. I often just like to grill inside with my cute little grill pan. Don't you love it, Margaret? I absolutely love it. I'm going to order one today. I that think is it's fantastic. Good. <laughs> everybody. Okay. So Becca's going to man the pieces over here. She's going to let them grill. She's going to check on them to make sure that those grill marks appear because we just love those beautiful grill marks. Oh my goodness. Already. Now turn those over, Becca, please. All right, you guys. Now don't forget, we are giving away a copy of Pastor McCord's Smoothie Project with a hundred smoothie recipes. Paul, I think you could just screen share the title of that book once again, if you don't mind. Oh, uh, I'm having a little technical difficulty. Let okay, me that's that okay. Me. We're giving away a copy of Captain McCord's Smoothie Project Cookbook. It's amazing. All you have to do is comment either on Instagram or Facebook to be eligible to win. You don't have to like, you know, answer any of our trivia questions correctly. You can, you know, put in wrong answers, but you're still automatically Right, Paul? Right, Margaret? Yeah. Right, Billy? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Let's, right on. Right let's on. move on to our arugula. I have some arugula here, right? And arugula you can find at any well stock grocery store. It is the leafy green that it has a peppery bite, which I love because it con it's such a great contrast to the sweet peaches. But you could use romaine lettuce, you could use spinach, you could use microgreens, you could use field greens, whatever greens you would like. 
for this delicious salad. So to our delicious arugula, we are going to add uh, some feta cheese. Okay, now you could use blue cheese if you wanted to or any cheese, goat cheese. You know, I, I know a trick for goat cheese. We should do this sometime on the show. Take a log of goat cheese. And you know how, do you guys know how you actually slice goat cheese? Does anybody know what you use? That you can find, this is a trivia, que trivia question. Does anyone know the best way to slice a log of goat cheese using something that you can find in a dentist's office? Please enter your answers I now on like Facebook. And Becca knows because she's smarty pants. Please enter your answers now. In the meantime, feta cheese, arugula. And then Becca's gonna make the salad dressing for us right now. Go ahead, take it away, Becca. We have balsamic vinegar and oil. Then some salted pepper. <laughs> okay, go get a fork. Super simple dressing. Because I think that sometimes when you use a very simple dressing like this, just balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil, all the other ingredients in the salad really sing. Right, Becca? Mm -hmm. So we just have balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, and a bit of salt. And pepper. Now, and pepper. Now let's take a look at our beautiful salad. Peaches, back to the top down camera, Paul. All right, here we go. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. Beautiful. Right? Those grill marks, I mean, those are sure to impress your many virtual guests you'll be having at your next virtual party. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Impressive. And so and how delicious. does it smell? What does it a grill smell, smell like? See, you know what? It smells sweet. It smells salty. It mm -hmm. smells smoked. It's like sultry. It's like the perfect dish to serve for your wow. next supper to get together. Don't you agree, Becca? Do you agree? Okay. Or, yes. I'm just going to take a platter. Hold on. I have a lot of platters for my catering business I haven't been using for a long time. We can go back to our mainframe, Paul. Okay. And I sometimes feel like, I don't know about you guys, but when, when it's so hot like this, sometimes all I want is like a salad for dinner, right? And so I'm for just sure. going to drizzle our balsamic extra virgin olive oil dressing here onto our greens. Now, if you wanted to make this, uh, a main dish, I would add some prosciutto, which would be delicious. You could add some bacon. You could add, you know, some roasted chicken. You could add some salmon just to add some protein and just make this a dinner salad and it would be your main course. Okay, you know, Becca's adding a bit more salt and pepper. It's such a simple, easy dish. Now, what happened to the feta cheese? Oh, the feta cheese is in here, yay, okay. So I'm just going to layer, okay. Rebecca's an uh, oops, I'm layering our arugula onto my gorgeous platter like so. Does that look good? That is beautiful. I mean, uh, sometimes, listen, you just use the simplest, freshest ingredients, and that's all you really need, just a few pure ingredients, and you have the most delicious recipes. Okay, Becca's, Becca's critiquing me. What do you have to say, Becca? <laughs> Okay, Becca's asking, is this really a salad? Because the peaches are mixed in. Like, it's <laughs> obviously, <laughs> where else peaches I mean, obviously, you, I mean, are you okay. obviously, you can mix the peaches into the greens, but I think it looks so beautiful this way. So we're just going to take some extra feta cheese and I'm going to garn. Oh, look how delicious. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, so good. What? Wasn't that Yum. fast? That was like five minutes, you guys. Whenever I tilt the platter this way, I'm afraid everything's gonna fall onto the coder. But anyway, <laughs> I think we're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, Paul? Yeah, it's Margaret? Perfect. Yes. Go, Bill? Okay. okay. Yay, our first salad, our first cruel summer salad. Cool. cool, cruel summer salad. Yay. Hey, Margaret, any new friends joining us from Facebook? Yes, and if oh, and you are trying to answer the, uh, the trivia question. Yes. So Frederick 
Frederick just says comment. Um, Philip says dental floss. June Bryant says dental floss. Becca needs to floss it or oh, to floss. Oh my goodness. All right, here, Becca's going to floss. Ready, go. Go. <laughs> All right. Now, Becca's twin brother, Dylan, is really the uh, floss master in our he's family. A he's a dentist, but he's too busy with his video games right now. So forget about Dylan. Uh, Becca just said the floss. The correct. Oh, wait, Billy, wait first. Any answers coming in on Instagram? Well, Mate Chandran says um, dental floss. Some other dental says a drill, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right, listen, like the uh, correct answer overnight. is dental floss. It is really excellent to basically you just take a log of goat cheese. What I like to do is roll it in some breadcrumbs. Then I just basically cut it with my dental floss and then I just saute it in a pan until the breadcrumbs brown, right, you guys? So next we're going to dive into, guess what? What do, what do you think it is? I think it's time for Becca's TikTok Dance Break! <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I've done this one. I've not practiced it all today, but here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Can we put it near there? Yeah, near there, okay. Um, I know that a lot of you are concerned about TikTok going away yeah, there's a lot of concern around that, but hopefully Microsoft buys that. But until then, we will continue to do our TikTok dance race. Ready? Let's go. I didn't know what that was. I tried my best. I mean, I know I've done it before, but I, I have short-term memory loss. <laughs> Margaret, do you feel that way? Short-term memory loss or anyone on a show over 40 years old? Day. <laughs> Every single day. I'm like, and it's oh the summer God. heat. We can blame it on the heat, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, what are we making today? Oh yeah, salads. Okay, moving on to our next step. <laughs> we have a delicious Greek salad. Who does not love Greek food? And who does not love me the Mediterranean diet? So healthy, so easy to follow, based on a lot of healthy greens, vegetables, lean proteins, and non-saturated fats, right? So we're starting here today with some chopped romaine lettuce, but you could use any type of lettuce that you would like for this recipe. And then this to this, Beck is gonna add our other delicious, okay, she's asking me to scooch over. Please add the other ingredients to the salad, please, Becca. So cucumber and cherry tomatoes. Cucumber and cherry tomatoes, a hallmark of Greek salads. Red bell pepper. Red bell pepper. You can substitute with yellow, orange, orange green, or omit. Up red, to you. Red onions. Red onion. I know there's a recall, but these ones are safe. So if you don't feel comfortable using red onion, totally Wait, fine. Uh, if she's asking what happened. We will have a sidebar. <laughs> there's a recall in red onions. Okay, next. Feta cheese, more feta cheese. Feta cheese, we love feta cheese. We're using it two times because feta is better, right? Okay, all right, Becca's embarrassed. All right, now she's gonna make uh, our dressing for this delicious salmon Greek salad with this bowl she's going to combine. Okay, some olive oil, right? Olive oil. We have some extra virgin olive oil from World Market. Yay! Woohoo! Red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar available at any Wall Star grocery store. Including World Market. Mm -hmm. um, lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, but if you only have the kind from that plastic little lemon, that's fine too. Uh, garlic. Minced garlic for Melissa's produce. Thank you, Melissa's produce. Oregano. And dried oregano. Of course, you could use fresh or you could use herbs de Provence. You could use uh, dried basil, parsley, whatever herbs you may have on hand. And then, of course, we want to add a little salt to our delicious uh, dressing. But we also have, what did you miss? Oh, Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Yes, always adds a great uh, little boost 
to any recipe. Okay, good job, Becca, you're fine. Yes, all right, but you know what? Again, during these times, you don't have Dijon mustard and you're like, I don't have it. Just substitute with a grainy mustard, yellow, any kind of yellow, any kind of mustard you might have on hand or omit it, it's okay. Because we don't want you to go to the store an extra time if you don't need to. Margaret McSweeney, any new friends joining us on Facebook? Yes, um, Matthew joined. Oh, and just continued comments, Diane. Um, I don't know if you're seeing anything on your side, Paul. Any additions as yeah. well? Um, I think I'm some of these people. Marina Garcia says hello. Jane Aronson Skaggs joined. Oh, awesome. Jane Arison Skakes, also from Illinois. All right, Paul, if you don't mind uh, popping back to our top down camera. All right, we are on our top down camera once again. So we have our beautiful ingredients. Can you recap for everyone what's in this salad, Becca? We have fed cheese, cucumber and tomato, onions, and red bell pepper. I already said that. Okay. And then we're gonna add <laughs> our delicious dressing, which we just whisked together. Now this is a great dressing you can use for any type of salad, right? Yeah. Yes. It's so healthy. This is a classic Greek dressing that I like to use on so many different types of dishes. Okay, now I'm taking another platter. Good thing I have so many platters, oh, guys. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, now I'm just going to, okay, let's go back to our other camera, okay, Paul? There you go. All right, I'm just going to take our traditional Greek salad uh, ingredients here. Now, obviously, you don't want to serve this with salmon. You don't have to. This is just a great starter salad. Could you use something else besides salmon? Like any other meats or fish? Why don't you uh, tell, ever, tell everyone your question? I can't find it. Can you use any other meats or fishes over here? with the salad. Becca wants to know if you can use any other meats or fish or fishes, in other words of Becca Jonas, on the salad. Yes, absolutely. You could use chicken, you could use shrimp, you could use beef, you could use pork, you could use scallops, whatever you- Tofu? Tofu, excellent idea. Seasoned tofu, great, for a plant-based version of this recipe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to, so let's just talk about the salmon because I made that in advance. I basically just seasoned the salmon with some olive oil, salt and pepper. Could grill it for about three minutes per side. I happen to oven roast it today just to save some time. And here we have it. We have our delicious, that's the other recipe. We have our delicious, why don't we go back to top down because it's so beautiful. Look at our beautiful Greek salad with salmon. Look at that, you guys, so healthy. Yum. So good, so healthy, so great for your diet too, right, Margaret McSweeney? Absolutely, it is just beautiful. And then paired with the peach salad, it's just gorgeous. Yes, right, I mean, why not have a variety of salads at your next socially distanced right? dinner party, right? All right, last but not least, uh, and and where, where are, yeah, Becca's right. favorite salad, but where are these uh, recipes available, Margaret McSweeney? <laughs> You can always find them chefkatiechen.com. Yay! All right, I just want to ask you, Bill, have any new friends joined us on Instagram? Oh, well, Laura, uh, Laura, um, I don't know who this is, Laura Cholm, M. Cholm. Hi, Laura. North Star Moving. Oh, still yes, here. North Star Moving, yay! North Star? Hi, Laura. Listen, I think this is a perfect time to also talk about the fact that we are going to send hunger packing. Uh, Laura McComb from North Star Moving has joined forces with Groundwork Coffee and Compass uh, Los Angeles to create this amazing food drive because believe it or not, it's very uh, sad, but also very sobering. 80% of children in the Los Angeles Unified mm. School District are hungry you know, suffering from poverty and hunger. So they are launching this incredible initiative to get food on the table for these children. And uh, uh, Paul's gonna show a really cool video right now about their initiative. And Margaret's going to copy and paste a link so you can donate today.
And we're back. Yay! Wasn't that cool? You guys, please join North Star Moving, Groundwork Coffee, and Compass International for their initiative to end hunger and get meals on the table for our children in Los Angeles. So uh, Margaret has copied and pasted a link so you can donate today, you guys. Yay, thank you so much. So next, we are making Chinese chicken salad. Becca is going to take you through the dressing for this delicious, healthy salad. If you're watching from Minneapolis, you know my mother, Leanne Chin, had a delicious Chinese chicken salad, which everybody loves. But I wanted to take a healthier take on this recipe, which you can find on my blog, chefkatiechin.com, or my last book, Everyday Chinese Cooking. It's a healthier take. It's super delicious. She's going to take you through the dressing for this recipe. Go ahead, Becca. Okay, so we start with some rice, wine, vinegar. Yep. And then we're going to add some brown sugar. And then some salt some sesame oil, ginger and garlic, green onions, and some sesame seeds. Great job, Becca! This is a delicious, healthy recipe that also could be used for a marinade or for any kind of salad that you like. So this is our, um, Final trivia question. You can enter in an answer to this trivia question. You're automatically entered in to win a copy of Kathy McCord's Smoothie Project Cookbook. True or false? Was Chinese chicken salad invented in the 1950s in the city of Los Angeles? True or false? Please enter in your answers now on Facebook or Instagram. Woohoo! Just because you're on the crew of this show doesn't mean you you too can't enter your answer, but you're not eligible to win, but please enter your answer anyway. Okay, enter your answers now, true or false? Hey, Katie. Is that, yes. I can screen share the book cover if you'd like to show it. Let's do it, let's do it, Paul. All right. There we go. Yay, okay, everybody out there on Facebook and Instagram, if you enter in a comment, you can just share a love, your love, you can send an emoji, you can say Becca walks, you could say hi, or you can enter an answer to my latest trivia question, which is this, which is true or false? Was Chinese chicken salad invented in the 1950s in Los Angeles? True or false? Enter in your answers now and you're eligible to win Catherine McCord's amazing smoothie project cookbook with over a hundred smoothie recipes. Okay, Becca's reminding me about the time. Okay, let's switch over to our top down camera flow. There we go. Thank you. All right, Becca's gonna take us through what goes into the salad. Okay, so in here we have romaine lettuce, red, purple cabbage. From Melissa's, Melissa's red cabbage and some shredded carrots. Yes, all of these ingredients loaded with antioxidants and immune fighting boosters, which we all want to be eating a lot of during this time. What else, Becca? Mandarin oranges. Mandarin oranges from any well-stocked grocery store, adding that delicious bright sweetness to the salad and along with some chicken. We have some cubed roasted chicken. You can just get that from the grocery store if you have a roasted chicken left over from Costco, whatever. I just decided to grill this chicken, chicken breast um, at home. Right, next we have the dressing. <laughs> so we're just gonna drizzle our delicious dressing, dressing on top of the salad. And to recap, the ingredients in the dressing, Becca, do you remember what goes in there? Yes, we have rice wine with vinegar, mm -hmm. brown sugar, mm -hmm. ginger, and garlic, mm -hmm. um, sesame seeds, sesame oil, green onions, and salt. I rely on Becca because I can't remember anything. Paul and Margaret, Bill, do you relate? <laughs> I can't remember anything. I just don't remember anything. <laughs> well, our, our brains what are on vacation. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what's happening. But the recipe, again, is available on chefkatiejin.com. So this is such a delicious recipe. And I decided today, you know, if you look at the recipe on my blog, it does call for crispy wonton chips. I just wanted a lighter approach today, so I didn't include that. But if you like that extra crunch of the wonton chips, mm -hmm. uh, the instructions are on my blog. You just take some wonton wrappers, just cut them, cut them fry, 
dry them. That's take it. Them out, take them out. Flop them in. Mm -hmm. Some people like to use chow mein noodles. Up to you. Whatever feels right. Okay. So uh, we're just going to go back to our top down crema fall. Okay. And we're going to just dish up this beautiful. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, gorgeous. So healthy. So it's like this salad to me is like eating the rainbow. It is just chock full of nutrients. It's so pretty to look at, but it's also so delicious, right? It's so easy. Here we go. Yay, look at our Chinese chicken salad. Delicious, woohoo. Now, Paul and Bill, have anybody answered the question, true or false, about the origins of Chinese chicken salad? Anyone, anyone? Let's see. Oh, we oh have I mean, Margaret or Bill, Margaret or Bill. <laughs> I was checking too. I'm oh, sorry, Paul. Unless you want Paul to do it, Margaret, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. It, it, we can do this together. So, okay. And a lot of people have jumped on the stream. Uh, Cynthia Yay. Motters. Uh, Hi, she Cynthia. says true. Philip says false. Diane says true. Barbara says true. Shirley Kwan says false. Frederick Mead says false. Um, Barbara Koppelman says Becca rocks <laughs> and I love smoothies. <laughs> so I don't know that I miss any, Paul. You Facebookers are very, very vocal. How yeah. about you, Bill, on Instagram? Anybody entering some answers in? Well, it looks like uh, G. Encha says false. Laura Holmes says true. May Chandran says false. North Star Moving says true. Ooh. Wow, lots of lots of answers nice today. Listen, yeah, uh, I, listen. I, I mean, this is a legend, so we don't really know. But what I do know about China is that we don't you don't eat a lot of salads in China because guess what? The water isn't so great, so you have to boil the water. So mo, I mean, it's different now. But back in the day, most of the vegetables you ate in China were boiled. You know what? Mm -hmm. So that it would remove any bacteria or anything like that. So. We didn't grow up eating a lot of salads uh, back in Minnesota, where I'm from. Any Minnesota fans joining us today? Um, so what I have been told, the origin of Chinese chicken salad happened in the 1950s in Los Angeles when a famous female chef served a Chinese version of chicken salad to Cary Grant. That is what I believe to be true, but it doesn't matter. Even if you're inaccurate, no one really knows you are still eligible to win a copy of Catherine McCord's beautiful cookbook, Smoothie Project. Okay, you guys, before we sign off, we just want to recap the beautiful salads we made today, right, Becca? Yep. That's right. And don't forget to check out the Occident Rich Smoothie from Catherine McCord from her Smoothie Project cookbook, also featured on my blog, chefkbchin.com, because we need to be loading our bodies with immune boosters and antioxidants to keep healthy and safe during this time. Right, you guys? Yes. Yay. Okay. Yay. So first of all, Becca, what was our first salad today? Grilled peach salad. Grilled peach salad with arugula, with our spicy arugula greens. So delicious. Next, what do we have, Becca? Our Greek salmon salad. Greek salmon salad with healthy salmon loading, loaded with those omega-3 fatty acids, the good for you saturated, unsaturated fats, right? And by the way, as we said earlier, if you don't want to use salmon or you just want to serve the salad without any kind of meat protein, totally fine. It's a classic dressing you can use anytime you want a Greek inspired type of salad. And, and then finally, finally, Chinese chicken salad. Chinese chicken salad. Woohoo! So, oh wait, you know what we forgot? We Woo! forgot the almond, almond. sliced almond. I'm gonna add those now. I love the sliced almonds. They add such a great texture to this dish. Okay, great. All right, awesome. All right, any other questions, comments, or anywhere else you want to mention? Joining us from Facebook before we sign off with our 10 second countdown so you have an extra 10 seconds to enter our contest. Margaret, Billy, anyone else you want to mention? Uh, everyone's just saying hi. 
<laughs> Red Hero Girl Life has joined at the end here. Hi there. Hi, everybody. Okay, before we sign off, I give you 10 extra seconds to make a comment. I just wanted to mention that we'll be doing another live stream this Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we'll be giving away a $100 Melissa's Produce Box. So join us again on Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific yeah. Standard Time. I don't know yet. Okay. Until then, we're just going to count down 10 seconds. Have a great weekend. Happy cooking. I hope you win because Catherine McCord's cookbook totally rocks. Okay, ready? Back and count us down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Don't forget to donate, you guys. Please donate to the food drive. Congratulations to North Star Moving, Groundwork Coffee, Compass, Los Angeles. Thank you for your great work and, and helping all the families out there in Los Angeles to keep meals on the table. All right. Love you guys. See you Sunday. Bye. Keep cool. Keep your cool. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you again, Catherine McCord, Bye. Martin McSweeney, Bill Chin, and Paul Hemstreet. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.